This bundle of fur needs lots of attention. He's really needy. He cries a lot if he doesn't get his own way. If he doesn't get lit upstairs or on the sofa, he will cry. He cries more than he barks. And at night, in a bid to stop the crying before it begins, Gemma's eldest, Albert, volunteers for babysitting duty. My son has now decided that he'd rather move downstairs and sleep on the sofa with him. This is ridiculous. It can't go on any longer. He has to go back in his own room and leave the dog to be. Wow. He is just gorgeous. Tell me about your puppy. My son is tending to sleep downstairs with him of a night. Um, he cries quite a lot, and they've become very addicted to wanting to not leave him alone. So do you have any footage of night time? I do. This is my oldest son, Albert. OK. <laughs> Most puppies can be anxious in their new home and prefer to be with people even at night. Well, thank you for showing me that and um, tell you that to have him here three weeks is quite a short time still. But we'll see where he sleeps, his bed, and like where you are and see if we can kind of make that situation a bit easier. In Kent, Victoria is helping Gemma and her sons train their new puppy, Shaq. Now she wants to address their biggest issue, getting Shaq to sleep by himself and Albert back in his room. Albert, I have to say I'm extremely impressed with you. The fact that you didn't want him to be by himself, yeah. recognised your dog's needs. He's a little baby. Yeah. However, there is going to be some point where he's going to need to learn to sleep by yeah. himself, just like a human baby, right? I think now you've got a routine, don't you? Yeah. What time do you normally go to bed then? Eight, nine. Would like you to spend another couple of nights down here with him. The next time you come down, let's say the third night, come down with your duvet, go through your whole routine, wait till he's asleep, and then leave your duvet down here and your pillow and go back upstairs. So if he wakes up, there's still a visual of the duvet there. Yeah. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Then gradually you can start to make that duvet disappear. One day you won't need it. Do you think you'll be able to do that? Yeah. OK. I've got something that I've got outside which I'm going to bring in. And let's see if he likes it. <laughs> so... Oh, wow. I do have a shack style <laughs> bed, which we hope he doesn't chew oh. on. Shaq's outgrown his first bed, so this larger bed will be better suited as he'll be getting bigger in the coming weeks. <laughs> he can sleep much better. <laughs> Cover it with his blanket. He's used to his blanket. There you go. <laughs> so I'm going to put this away now. When it's bedtime and he's exhausted, you put that down, put his blanket on top of it, he'll go in it, sleep all night, in the morning, pick it up, done and he just does his normal stuff, OK? A few weeks later, Victoria's keen to check in on Shaq's progress. Hey, Gemma, how are you? Hello, Victoria. Nice to see you. Is Shaq sleeping by himself now? We've cracked it. We have. Thank you very much for your help. It's, it's so nice to just go up and have not to worry that he's crying or he's scared and everyone's in their own beds and everyone's getting a good sleep. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.